Hi everybody, it's JB again. So, <laughs> it's about, I don't know, 10 minutes till 1 or something in the morning <laughs> here at the house. It's actually starting to rain just a little bit. So, um, I didn't realize it was going to be sprinkling. Or I probably wouldn't have even come out here to practice. But, anyway, I bet you're asking yourself, why in the world is this guy out at 1 o'clock in the morning uh, shooting arrows in the dark? And the short answer is, I'm an idiot. I'm not an idiot, but I am a little crazy. And uh, <clears throat> anybody who hunts will tell you that whatever game you're after, whether it's white-tailed deer or dove or duck or whatever, <clears throat> will make you crazy. You will do things in the attempt to harvest those animals that are just mind-boggling. <clears throat> so anyway, what I'm really out here for today, I gotta not get loose right there. What I'm really out here for today, tonight, no, it's today. <laughs> it's actually tomorrow. Anyway, <clears throat> is uh, I've been watching this guy named Jeff Cavanaugh. He's from, he's up, he's from up north somewhere, man. I, I'm bad with accents, but if I had to guess, I'd say maybe uh, Michigan, somewhere up there. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> the man is a phenomenal uh, bowman. I mean, he's just awesome. Uh, check him out on YouTube. His name's Jeff Cavanaugh. Anything and everything you can think about any kind of question you have about traditional archery uh, from form to, to just whatever <clears throat> uh, he's got a video on just about everything and he's got a video for everything one of everything and two of most so <clears throat> one of the things he talks about was uh, on your release <clears throat> He doesn't use a static release, and, and that means, you know, when he comes back to his anchor, my anchor is my index finger, that knuckle, that first knuckle, basically, on the on the bottom of my lip. When you come there, you don't ever actually stop. If you're doing it static, if, you're, if you have a static uh, release, you're going to stop and hold it and then let go. And so what I'm working on is bringing it back and as I'm bringing it back these fingers I'm not gonna actually let go I'm not gonna pluck the string I'm gonna try not to as I bring it back I'm just gonna relax those fingers and bring it back to my second anchor point which is back here behind my jaw by my ear somewhere so <clears throat> and try to get better at that so that's what we're gonna do I got the target set up about the uh, about 13 yards again, so we're gonna. Oh, oh, there goes my girl. We're just gonna give this a shot. We're gonna see what happens, baby. <clears throat> I'm gonna force myself to slow this down and to do this correctly. This guy, Jeff Cavanaugh, is just, he's obviously been shooting for a long time. The dude shoots clay pigeons with his bow. <laughs> uh, how cool is that? That was way off. 
everything up to that point actually did pretty good. So I'm not sure what that was about, <coughs> but it's really hard to to do what he's talking about just I guess because I've never learned it that way it's an odd feeling I guess to just be relaxing your fingers as they're coming back you know, because you're you're afraid. Well, hell, I'm, it's it's gonna let loose before I want it to. But honestly, from here it looks like a pretty good grouping. So let's go check it out. <clears throat> one odd flyer out of eight so that's not bad there is the law of Renella Renella's law and that is one of every six arrows is just going to do something crazy in this case I did one out of eight so that's not bad <clears throat> I gotta tell y'all doing these videos I don't really do these videos so that other people can see them that sounds terribly selfish. <laughs> um, uh oh, uh, but I'm actually doing these videos. I mean, if other people see them and it helps them and they get a kick out of it, great. But I'm actually doing them for uh, so that I can go through and look and see what I'm doing that I need to work on and practice on. And be, besides that, it's just it's fun. You know what I mean? You know what? They did it again. I went high and to the left, man. <clears throat> that was very not so pretty release. You know, but when all these things come together, that tension, the bow hand, the release, the anchor point, the second anchor point, bringing your bow up vertically, you know, bring it up on a line. I learned that from Jeff, too. In other words, you don't want to bring your bow up just, you know, just helter-skelter. You want to bring it up. When you bring it up, you want to bring it up straight on a vertical line. <clears throat> he said the reason for that is when you shoot instinctu uh, instinctively, the left and right on the target, if you're missing, really doesn't have anything to do with instinct, with, with shooting instinctively. That's actually your form and your bow. Your bow hand determines your left and your right. That's something you can fix mechanically with, your, with, with form and repetition. The distinctive part about the whole daggum thing is your brain saying I need to aim this high at that distance to hit the target or how fast is the target moving <coughs> I didn't know that but I do know so this is fun this group actually is worse than the last one, <clears throat> but I'm trying something new, so you know, it's not bad. I mean, it's just worse than the last one. <laughs> not bad. <clears throat> Let's go check it again.
<clears throat> you know, I've been talking about these uh, Carbon Express Heritage traditional arrows I bought a couple days ago and so far I really like them uh, it didn't take me long to realize <clears throat> with this archery thing that it doesn't do you any good to have a nice bow and really cheap arrows so I started getting gold tips as far as I could tell, those were about the best. <clears throat> and uh, so I've been sticking with them, but I, these Carbon Express, they're not cheap and they're pretty good arrows, man. So, pretty cool. Right in the ticker. Let's remember to slow everything down. A bad habit of shooting, you know, real fast, just flinging arrows. <clears throat> That's not exactly what I want to be doing. That was low. I'm not sure what the deal was at that time. That was right in the ticker, man. Oh. I think the rule, I think Renella's law is catching up to me. <laughs> Damn it, Renella. <laughs> Did you hear that? I think I just. I may have just Robin Hood when that's my dead gum arrows, dude. I hope not, even though that, that means my group's getting bigger. Man, those are expensive arrows. Shit. Yeah, that was a little off. <clears throat> it's almost worth breaking an arrow just to tighten your group up, you know? <clears throat> man, that is really tightening those groups up. Let's go look at this, man. <laughs> Something happened. It sounded funny. Okay. Actually, that looks pretty. That looks really good. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can see that, but <clears throat> I've got two touching right there. That's, that's the one I heard. I had a couple odd flyers, a couple, a couple low balls, but. It's getting better, y'all. It is really getting better. So I'm gonna keep practicing this. This form, back tension, release, uh, all this stuff, man. It, it sounds bogus. And it sounds like a whole bunch of hooey and a bunch of crap and it's just like, dude. Uh, but you gotta keep doing it over and over and over and over and over again. And uh, you see the results, man. It's getting better. So, my group is shrinking. Um, I've got more consistency. I'm able to hit when I'm aiming at more and more. <clears throat> so, this is why you practice at 1 o'clock in the morning. It's so, when season gets here, you're ready. You know, there's no... Oh, I need to hurry up and go out and practice and learn all this stuff. Hopefully, by the time deer season gets here, I will have done this so much in the in the preceding months that I have a halfway, you know, set form and plan and 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 process that's going to just kick in, take over, and the, and the training takes over, and the next thing you know, you've harvested a deer. And you're thanking God because he's ultimately in charge of all of this. So there's a verse in the Bible. Well, there's lots of verses in the Bible. <laughs> but I think one of them, Proverbs or Psalms, has something to do with, you know, a lot to do with bows and arrows and quivers and, and God training your hands for war and stuff. And, and uh, 
If I ever go to war, I don't think I want a bow and arrow, but um, it sure is fun to hunt with, and it sure is fun as just coming out here and meditating with. This is almost like meditation, man. So, y'all have fun. God bless. Bye.